Hey, hey, everybody, it's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan. And this is a really short video to tell you about an announcement that was made from Flare Networks. They, of course, are the network behind the Flare token Spark. And this is uh, a brand new announcement that is just, again, huge because we have another use case being built out on the XRP ledger. You should know that to protect the XRP ledger from being disrupted by spam and denial of service attacks, each transaction destroys a small amount of XRP. That puts XRP as a deflationary currency. That's quite important to remember. The exact amount of XRP is specified by a fee field and the current minimum transaction cost required by the network for a standard transaction is 10 drops, 0.00001 XRP. I really encourage you to dive deep into the XRP ledger. You can do so as this xrpledl.org website is probably your best resource for knowledge. Now, why I am so excited is because this DeFi space is really becoming exciting it's just being blown out and built out and exploding in a way where the xrp ledger is going to prove as one of the places to build on and xrp is part of that story the digital asset is unrelated to the company ripple ripple just uses it but you're going to see that the digital asset is also connected deeply to the ledger, which is open source and it is decentralized. Anyone can build on the ledger. And the Flare Networks, they have chosen to build on this ledger. Why? Well, because it is secure, it's fast, it's interoperable, it's eco-friendly. That is just to name a few. Flare Networks made a huge announcement today. So in addition, to the build out with Spark, they will be integrating Litecoin ahead of the Flare Network launch in Q2. This will allow Litecoin to be used trustlessly on Flare with Ethereum style smart contracts, giving Litecoin interoperability and composability. That means that it is modular in a variety of ways. Five billion FLR or Spark will be distributed to Litecoin participants. Details are going to come out in about a week. It's huge for the space, just huge. Building out these DeFi contracts and giving Litecoin instant utility overnight, it is really big for the eco space of cryptocurrencies. Litecoin has been trading since 2013. It's currently priced at $165. It had an all-time high set back in December 2017 of $375. This is the chart that shows you from April 2017 to today. And there was a really good question out on Twitter that Santiago was able to answer at CJ7214 said, I thought FLL, FLR holders had to vote to bring in new coins on the Flare network. And what is going to happen is just that, but that governance doesn't take place until the main net is launched. This is going to happen before that main net launch. And then after that, yes, there will be a process of voting. Santiago Velez is uh, someone who interviewed Hugo, the CEO of Flare Networks in the last 24 hours, and he says his mind is blown. He did so on Real Vision, and they discussed Avalanche Ethereum virtual machine, uh, Solidity smart contracts, interoperability, XRP, Litecoin, and BTC. I think we're going to be able to see this interview next week. I can't wait. I just can't wait. Santiago, I just am so happy that you did this. And Hugo, it's just so exciting. So I really think 
uh, to summarize, Litecoin holders will be able to participate in this airdrop and Litecoin will receive these smart contract capabilities. Am I participating? Absolutely, I wouldn't miss it for anything. All right, we are jumping to the fluff and that is quickly just to show you Lego has been making some interesting product that is outside of their original business model of these snap together pieces that build uh, anything from a building to a, um, a robot, but you can even do these flower bouquets. And one of the new products that they introduced at the beginning of this year on January 1st is the bonsai. <laughs> so you can build a bonsai that looks like the matsu pine, or you can change that out to look like a blossoming, flowering cherry tree. <laughs> I think it's really fun. But maybe the most important part of the fluff today is to tell you that you can stay in a hundred year old home that is in the region of where the ninja did their schooling for hundreds of years. This is in Mie Prefecture, and they have turned one of these storage houses, Kura, into a place that you can spend the night. It sleeps up to six people, so it comes down to about $35 per person. And the fun thing about it is that it has been totally set up as a ninja house with lots of secret passageways, hidden doors, uh, stairs that you can drop down into. Uh, it's really fun, especially if you go to the Mie Prefecture to this uh, Inja, in, what is it, Inga Ru Ninja Museum that is nearby. If you are a fan of ninja, this has got to be one of the most fun places to stay. And then you can visit the museum when you go. I uh, just want to show you a video that's on Twitter and we don't have to hear the sound, but you can just take a look at some of the features in this place you can stay. It looks very fun. I can imagine exploring and finding all of the, <laughs> like who would have guessed? There you go down. Fun, huh? I don't know if you get a map or if you have to all discover it on your own, but I think for especially a family with, with children, this would be a real <laughs> fun experience. All right, everybody. Yes, do take care and sayonara for now. Bye-bye.